G'day guys, this is Big T. Today I've got the Isuzu D-Max 2020 in the workshop and we're going to be fitting the all new Rock Armor GT bull bar to the vehicle. So I'm just going to go ahead now, strip the vehicle down to the chassis and then get my bull bar ready and get started. Alright guys, I've got the vehicle all stripped there. I've got my bar ready to go. As you see, the new Rock Armor GT bull bar comes with the uh, provisions for your spotlights on the front there. You've got your high lift jacket. Uh, mount on the front there. We've got the it's all sensor compatible. The bull bar is also winch compatible as well as following a really nice sleek design which tucks in and snugs up to the vehicle to give it that really nice finish. It comes standard with your dual antenna mounts that are slotted on either side as well at the back behind you you'll see that it's got all these reinforcements just to make the bar super strong. As you see here We've got the angel lights, indicator parkers with our fog lights, which also have a daytime running light. The most important part of the GT bull bar is it's all ADR complied, so it works in with the safety features of your vehicle. So I've got my fitting kit laid out on the table. So this is our one piece winch cradle. These points here are going to mount to our bull bar. So these points here are going to mount onto the chassis of our vehicle. Then we've got the strengthening brackets, which are going to run down the side of the chassis, pick up the front of the bar, and then these matting points here are going to pick up the side of the chassis. We're going to clamp this bracket over to give us that extra strength. Then we have our rated recovery points, which are going to be built in on the bottom of the bar. Once all that's finished, we've got our rock armor bash plates here, which is going to finish the, the bar off. So we've got the center bash plate, then we've got our two sides. So I'm just going to go ahead now, sit the cradle on the vehicle, and then start with uh, mounting all these reinforcement brackets. cut this in the guard because it's going to make it easier for myself um, a little bit later on. So I've just cut that in the guard there, flush with that line there. So I'll clean that up later once the bar's on. But just to mount this in place there, I've marked out my point there on the inner guard and I've drilled it. Now I've just got the 10mm spring flat and then from the inside I'm just going to fix this inner guard in a place there onto the body. So it's just going to be nice and firm there. Okay, so I've got my winch cradle on there. Don't forget to mount these little brackets here. So that just goes on the side, one on each side there, as so. And that's going to pick up my point for the center bash plate and then my side bash plate. a bracket which is going to fix your factory headlight to the body because we removed this plastic part at the front there there's nothing holding it so there's a bracket in your kit which just goes from the light to your body there my cradle's all tightened up there I've trimmed down my inner guards I've mounted my uh, reinforcement for the light there this is the time to mount a winch if you're going to be mounting a winch you've got your full mounting points there just going to sit the winch on there and uh, bolt it down and get the bar on. So when I mount the bar on, I'll be using these three mounting points on the top there. So I've got three on either side and I'll be inserting the bolt from the outer and picking it up from the inside with a flat spring nut. And just before I put the bar on the vehicle, it comes with a grill and the grill's gonna be mounted on top of the bull bar. So I'll mount that now before I get the bar on the car. All 
Alright guys, so I've tightened everything up, the bar's all in place there. I've got myself a nice gap right around the whole side of the bar underneath my lights. Got my winch in there, everything's ready to go. So I'm just going to finish off my wiring now, which my mate Reg is going to go in there as he's an auto electrician. I had to mention that. And then I'm going to get in there and fit my bash plates. Alright guys, so there we go. I've just tightened up all my underbody protection to check out the clearance that you have there. So the way the GT bar is designed is to give you maximum approach angles there. Also, just check out these heavy duty recovery points that we have. And a nice finish with the rock armor bash plate in the center. All right guys, here we go. So the bar's all finished. It's taken me roughly around about three hours to fit the bar. One of the most common questions that I ask is how far does the bar stick out from the body? So I'll just measure this for you. It's roughly 17 centimeters. So all you guys that are going to be fitting the, um, driving your car and parking it in the garage, you've got 17, 18 centimeters from the front of the vehicle. That's going to give you heaps of room.